My name is Veronika Martincic and I am a student of Slovenian High School Gymnasia Bežibe. After the New Year's celebration, my mom confronted me with a minor change in family eating habits, cutting down on sweets. Because I eat chocolate on a daily basis, she didn't want to actually cause a post-acute withdrawal syndrome in me, so she suggested that I eat every day only half the amount of chocolate that I had eaten the day before. So, if on the first day I ate one half of the whole bar, on the second I ate one quarter, then one eighth, one sixteenth, and so on. But after only two days, I realized that the bar is being diminished too quickly and that this would probably be the last bar of chocolate in my whole life. And due to fast disappearance of the pieces, is the sum of one half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, and so on, one. And one exactly. But I guess she already knew this, because she had mentioned it once, talking about the great wisdom of the old Greeks, the Zenos paradoxes, and she just tried to fool me. But with my great love for chocolate, one bar of it really isn't that satisfying, so I suggested reducing the size of particles with a slower pace. On the first day, I'd eat one half of the whole bar, then one third, one, one quarter, one fifth, one sixth, and so on. Then what is the sum of all those fractions? The answer is infinity. <laughs> well, that sounds much better to me. I will form groups of numbers with a sum equal or bigger than one half. I'll start with one half, then I'll add up one third and one quarter. One third is bigger than one quarter, and two quarters equal to one half. So the sum of one third and one quarter is bigger than one half. The next group has four parts. Four eighths equal to one half. One fifth is bigger than one eighth, as well as one sixth and one seventh. So the sum of one fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth is bigger than one half. Then the following group has eight parts and so on. Because there is an infinite amount of positive natural numbers, we can form infinite groups of those numbers with a sum equal or bigger than one half. This means that the sum of infinite number of those groups equals infinity. Well, the solution to my problem with sweets works great in the theory, but in real life I'd have eaten the first bar in only three days and then the next one in seven, and the size of particles would be furthermore reduced to the point I'd be left with only few atoms of chocolate per day. That's why I decided to dismiss both of the suggestions and eat every day half of the bar of the chocolate.